we will try to help parents um, if they have struggles with connectivity, but we cannot guarantee as a school system that we can provide connectivity for every house. Guilford County school leaders admits families who enroll their kids in virtual academies for the upcoming school year could run into some challenges. It doesn't rule them out. Chief Academic Officer Whitney Oakley says wireless access is a constant problem. We are putting things in place like the hotspots, turning on outdoor internet connectivity at some of our larger rural high schools where people could access in the parking lot. School leaders are also working on a partnership with the city of Greensboro, UNCG, and North Carolina A&T State University for widespread connectivity for students. In order to use this access, students will need devices. Principals will work with families to make sure that students who don't have devices are able to get those um, as we prepare for this upcoming school year. District leaders handed out more than 17,000 devices last year. It's a start, but not enough. It won't be perfect, um, but it will be better than when we had to turn it around over a weekend in mid-March. School officials have used complaints to find solutions to problems people had back then. They don't want a platform that looks different for one class than another. They want to be able to practice navigating online learning before it begins. While there are benefits to remote learning, this option is not for everyone. You have to provide a blend. You have to provide things that students can do on their own, but it's really important to have that time with teachers. It'll also include opportunities for small group instruction and individual check-ins.